Hey guys, so last we left off, it was pretty late at night. I was exhausted and we had just brought all the furniture back in, finished painting. So in this video today, we are going to be finishing up the living room makeover. I mentioned in the last video kind of my plans for this space. So we're gonna be putting a curtain up right here that's got some pattern on it. We are going to be hanging up the art again in here. I need to clean off my coffee table zhuzh everything up a bit. I've got that big mirror that I have like kind of over here and I'm gonna center it over the dining table. And then we're just gonna kind of, oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot about my favorite, like my most anticipated project in this space. Uh, obviously my fireplace was kind of covered up by my TV before. And part of the reason I did that is because I hated this like peel and stick, I'm not sure what it is, like faux brick contact paper that I took like, I tried to take half of it off when I first moved in and I kind of gave up on it. I'm not giving up this time. I am going to make that like a beautiful little focal piece. So I also have to do a few small things of the outlets that were in here before are were painted over and they caused some damage around the side the same way they did it in the kitchen. So I've got new outlet covers that are again, kind of a bit bigger, just like they are in the kitchen. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna hang up some art and we are gonna put together this art piece on the fireplace and then this space is, I'm just so excited. I already love it and I'm just gonna love it even more. I want you guys to love it with me. Ever since I was born, been a spring flower's daughter. So as you can see, like this is where I had to kind of use a screwdriver and really pry this up. And so because of this, I can't do the same size that was already on here, right here too, you can see that edge. So this is the plate. Let's just see a little bit myself, just so I know it stays. And then here we are, that's the face plate done. So this is like the biggest wall of real estate I have. I wanna make sure the mirror is usable for me and I can like look in it and it's all good to head out. So I want to get that sorted out. I kind of want that centered on this wall. I'm not sure if this fireplace is in the center. I think it is. So I'm kind of trying to line up this couch, the fireplace, the coffee table, this table and the mirror all like in one straight line. So they feel like the room is centered and grounded right there. So I'm going to do that. Double check that, figure that out. And then I was thinking about maybe putting those really tall, long pieces of art I have. Um, the heavy Asian ones, like up on this wall. Hibernate right. till it's warm And the snow melts to water But here comes a change, I can feel it Inside I see sun and the cloudless sky So I open my windows and breathe in The breeze of March dancing on last time was I was trying to hang these big pieces of art up. They're pretty heavy and so they need more than just even like a nail in the wall. They really need a screw with hopefully an anchor. Uh, but what looks the nicest are these like little plant hooks. You get them a lot of time. I've got a few in my ceiling from past tenants who put them in to hang plants, but they're like, they jut out because this is a pretty thick wood frame. So it like juts out from the wall. So it needs to be able to jut out and hang on this. And this should be the perfect size because my mom used plant rings when she had these uh, pieces of art at her office. So I'm hoping this will work now. When I was doing it before, the standard size, which is like this, was too small, just a little bit too small. So I got the hole big enough to go in to put the anchor in, but I needed to get longer screws, which are these. So you screw into this side a bit so it's on nice until it's tight and then you're also screwing into this little hole that's here this should be like a good length and the nice thing about the long ones is you can kind of if you've got a little bit of room behind your wall which i kind of do you can make them a little bit smaller or longer depending on uh, but you just close this little thing make sure the hole in your wall is big enough for this and goes deep enough and now I'm gonna go put it in. And when you pop it in, the anchor, like after it gets past that um, drywall layer or 
flat floor layer like mine is, it like, oh, there you go, it pops up. So it holds, that's your anchor. All right, so that hook is in. You can definitely tell it was the first time that I, that I put it in myself, uh, but I'm pretty proud of it. So I didn't quite know the length, so I just twisted it kind of slowly, righty tighty, until it was the right length with the hook hanging up. So now we are going to hang this piece of art. Come alive with the season Lord, set me again Spring awakening Now I'm going to do the other side. All right, so I was kind of hemming and hawing about what I was gonna do for this wall because I had my two big pieces over here before, but I think what I've settled on is this one, which used to be over top of my fireplace, but now I've got the TV there. So I'm thinking this can go like right here. So how I hang things up, it's probably not how a lot of people hang them up. I kind of go the lazy fast way. I don't like measuring. And I like to just hold it up where I want it. I check, I grab whatever it's going to hang by, and I check where that hits. And it hits like right here. So I take to work in my experience. Next we're going to be working on the window. Uh, I repainted the trim and all around it and inside of it. I need to put the blind back up and then we're putting up this beautiful curtain and curtain rod. Curtains and curtain rod. So first we're going to put the blind up which is kind of ugly and I'm just going to keep it up there and hide it and then we're going to get to the pretty stuff. And the trees whisper of new beginnings and the steady humming of bees daisies I wear like earrings and, but here comes a change I can feel it all right so we've got the blind up and now we're gonna do the fun part the pretty part all right, so I've got the curtain rod got the curtain rod and the instructions. So we are going to figure out where we want our mounting brackets and we are going to be using the anchors. So I'm going to grab my drill. So unluckily for me, this window is just, it's like 52, if I'm thinking, if I'm remembering correctly, but the cutoff is like 48 inches for the smaller rod, which would have been cheaper. So my curtain rod can get much bigger than I need to get, and it also comes with an extra hook, which we will not be needing because we just need the two. So I am going to figure out where we want these, and then we are going to start screwing stuff in. Inside I see sun in the cloudless sky, so I open my windows and breathe in the breeze of March that's so much taller in here. I'm just like getting so excited. This is looking kind of exactly how I wanted it to look. Adding like window treatments really, really elevates space. I was thinking about not doing it because the blind, like I already do have a blind there that came with the apartment, but I really think it needed them. I really think it looks so good. It just gives the space like a such a polished look. Um, so we will be back and for you guys it'll be five seconds for me i'm going to figure out when i can fit this in um but the living room is almost done and i'm like very excited <laughs> So 
it's later in the day we are going to be tackling this wall back here and my little wall over by my entrance i want to hang up the art it's just kind of been sitting on my coffee table and in the way and i've got a friend visiting tomorrow so i want that all taken care of so we are going to be hanging it all up um i got into my comfy clothes because <laughs> What I filmed before is before I went to class, and now I've been at class all day, and I'm kind of tired, and it's late, so we're going with comfort. So I'm going to kind of map out. I'm still not 100% sure how much I'm going to be putting on this wall. I want it to match up with the Asian wall, since they're going to be obviously compared to each other. So I kind of want a similar amount of art on the wall. So I'm just going to figure it out, plan it out, and you guys will see it happen much faster than it will happen in real life. project this I am so excited about I like I was saying I want to use the fireplace as like a frame like I knew I wanted to take this off I already knew that uh, but I was kind of like I'm not really sure like it just felt like it was gonna be really boring so I was like I kind of like the idea of putting something in here and framing it out this like weird brick tone not brick tone they are brick these weird bricks though not feeling those um, and so going to reveal what I was just looking at. Look at this wallpaper. So it's a Victorian art and craft style. I got it off of Etsy, so I'll definitely link it below. So we're just gonna have it like in here, and I also have got another roll, so we'll connect it up. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Just like with the dark blue, and it brings in all these colors I have in here, like this blue, and then the teal kind of in the couch. And these little pinks and this like creamy color tan i just love it i think it's so perfect i spent way too much time looking through them and trying to figure out what was going to be right ever since i was born been a spring flower's daughter hibernate till it's warm and the snow melts to water But here comes a change, I can feel it Inside I see sun in the cloudless sky So I open my windows and breathe in The breeze of March dancing on my skin Suddenly I have a reason To come alive with the season Falls in me again Okay, so I've got all the wallpaper off. That took me like an hour, but it's all off. Gosh, I don't even want to think about it if I had to take the wallpaper off in the entire room. Um, but if, honestly, it's pretty satisfying. I think if it wasn't, it's now dark out. If I wasn't like starting to get hungry for dinner, I wouldn't have minded it so much. Reading the instructions for my pre-pasted removable smooth wallpaper from Spoonflower. And so I'm going to finish prepping the wall after I prepare the, um, the paper. Okay, so it says to use a clean paint roller or sponge, thoroughly wet the back of the paper, making sure not to leave any dry spots. Once it's wet, gently fold the paste inside on itself by folding on top. So I need to set it aside for three to five minutes. 
So I have a sponge with some water that I will do this with. And then I will clean all this sex. They did say that like you should do this with someone else, but I'm feeling like I just have this little section to do. I will probably be fine on my own, fingers crossed. I were like you. So it's been sitting for like three minutes now, it's like for three to five minutes. So I'm gonna pick up the first roll, leave the, fold the top, and align the top of the ceiling, not the ceiling, this corner. Cloudly sky, some I like doing stuff around my apartment because if I ever have a house and I want to like put up wallpaper, even this small little section, it'll be like good for me to know like, okay, so what would that, what's the time that's gonna be going into that? You know, is it worth it for me personally? I don't think I'd ever wallpaper a full wall. I feel like that's a lot. Um, but like, I think I would wallpaper like the top or I've seen people wallpaper their ceilings. Um, I think it's Carolyn Winkler. She's got a video where she's redoing her, um, or like making over her bedroom and she wallpapers the ceiling. And like, gosh, it looks so pretty. And it like just brightens up that space. So, I'm also lucky this wallpaper is pretty busy. So I don't think you'll be able to see any of my mistakes too easily because I'm telling you there are quite a few. And there, I do have like this ridge. It's not like I'm applying to a uh, smooth wall. So I am like trying to stay realistic about that too. Hey guys, I'm so excited. I finished the living room. It's done. To come alive with the season. kicking myself for not doing this earlier. I've been living in this apartment for a little over two years and the entire time, I didn't really like spending time in my living room. You know, my TV was in here, but I kind of chose not to watch stuff on the TV and just watch it on my laptop because I just didn't like the feel of the space. I didn't realize how much I didn't like it until I did this to it because now I just want to spend time in here. It just like, I come in, my front door is in my living room. I come home from class and I'm just like, it just, hugs me it makes me feel like oh my gosh i'm excited for like coming home i'm excited to like sit down on the couch because it feels kind of like a luxury experience every little inch of this space is so me and i'm so happy with how it turned out you guys saw it, it was a lot of work <laughs> It'll be a little bit before i do another room makeover in my apartment but I mean, it's worth it. Like I'm standing in here and it's so worth it. I love having these curtains up over here. I think they're perfect. I was actually going to lower them down because they're about an inch and a half off of the ground. But I was talking to my mom and I was thinking about it. I have a Roomba, 
So having the curtains touch the ground is not ideal because when the Roomba is going around vacuuming, it could pretty easily catch the curtains and pull them down or damage them or it just stops the Roomba and I'm like having to reset it and check it all the time. So it's kind of perfect. Also the placement of where this window is, you don't really see, unless you're standing over here and there's like nothing to do over here, um, you're not really seeing the bottom. When you walk in, the couch covers the bottom over on the right hand side. And then this side, the left hand side, is like kind of behind the radiator cover anyway. So I think it's kind of perfect. In my brain when I was planning it, I had them touch the ground. But as you're working with a space and doing it, you kind of just have to accept that not everything is going to be exactly how you imagined it. And some of it will look even better. Um, to be honest, I could not imagine this space looking as good as it does. I'm so happy with it. One of the things I'm the most happy with, and what's the biggest difference in this room, I think, is this fireplace. It was painted black before. That's crazy to me that this fireplace was all black and the room did not suit it. I don't know what the colors were. While I was sanding, I saw that one of my walls was maroon and the other were like a periwinkle gray with a black fireplace. Very interesting. A lot of interesting choices going on in this room beforehand. I feel like just matching it with the trim in the rest of the room made so much sense. Um, it took a lot of paint to cover it. Like I said, it was black before um, and I wanted it white. So that wasn't easy but definitely worth the time and effort it took. And then this little peekaboo. I love this wallpaper. I'm so excited about it. It's my first time ever really using wallpaper. So I was a bit intimidated. Uh, and I'm definitely looking at it, I'm like, there, are, there is room for improvement, but overall, I think it looks great. Having a busy print as well, I think helps me because I don't think you're seeing all of my little mistakes because there's so much already going on in the paper. The rest of the room, I really just use stuff I already had. The only new things I brought into the space were really this wallpaper and this curtain. Everything else was here before, which is just goes to show that you really don't need to spend a ton of money or a lot, get a lot of new things to refresh a space. Paint? Doing something on the walls can be all you do and it makes a huge difference. This color, Soft Chinchilla, I fall more in love with it every single day. I, ugh, it has my heart. The Simple White on the trim, I think it does what it needs to do. Simple White is like a Benjamin Moore classic. When I was working in a design center, if somebody wasn't sure about what to do on their trims, we said Simple White because it goes with almost every single other color. And I want to keep that in mind because if my landlord wants to repaint this, at least he's not having to do the trim again, the simple white will look good with whatever color and it's just clean, which I love. So the rest of the stuff I did other than the paint was I hung stuff up and I moved around where I wanted my things. I'm just realizing I haven't gone over like some of the biggest changes in here, which are one, like the TV is up on top of the fireplace now. It makes us Space feels so much bigger. I don't know why I was so worried about like craning my neck to watch the TV. It's perfect. Honestly, it's better because before if I had stuff set down on my coffee table and I was like lying back in the couch, I couldn't see stuff on the TV. I'd have to move it. Now it's like the perfect height. It also gave me the ability to do this art piece, this wallpaper piece on the fireplace because beforehand I had that all covered up. I had it covered up because it was ugly, but also because I thought that's what I needed to do. But this space feels so much bigger now. So this side of the room is kind of a bit more where function fits into the design. I had such an empty space over here before, but then I thought, you know what, I've got a dining table. <laughs> I've got a dining table in the other room that I don't really use and both the leaves fold down. And it's the right tone of wood. As you can see, I love this dark tone of wood. It's the right tone of wood for in here. And I can have the two chairs on either side. And I was thinking, I've got this huge mirror that I love to check myself in the window. The mirror's width is just a little bit bigger than this table. So it centers over it perfectly. And I was like, well, if I've got the two chairs next to it, then I can mirror that symmetry in my two big pieces of art. Um, this is one spot in the room that is not quite finished, that will be finished, kind of on my own, I'll do it on the side. 
I don't have the door stopper yet, so I'm kind of leaving it how it is, not touching it, but that will be taken care of, so ignore that. But aside from that, this big, beautiful art that can stand next to this huge mirror and not look small. I was worried that this mirror would outshine any of the pieces of art I put near it, that they'd look small or dinky or not right for the space. But these huge pieces fit in so well. And they have some of these blues, they just get pulled out when you look at them against the wall. They're beautiful. And I don't feel they're being showcased on this wall. Like I said, it was clunky, it wasn't quite right. Here, they look intentional. It's also a very functional space in that now I've got a chair that I can sit down on to take my shoes off, to put them on. I've got the mirror right here. Um, and then I also had to bring in my little garden. Uh, I've got my arrow garden with some arugula and basil. And then I've got my beautiful African violets that my mom gave me. Um, and I have a little bit of a cat friendly plant that one of my friends couldn't grow in her apartment. So I took them and they all needed the grow light and they needed to be plugged in and they needed a surface to sit on. These were all in my kitchen before. And honestly, I think they look better out here. I know if I was choosing things to put on this table, I wouldn't necessarily do this. This kind of came out of a necessity of function. I didn't have another space to put them, but they look so much better here in this space than they did in the kitchen. In the kitchen, they're more centered. At least now they've got like some symmetry. For the most part, I love the little bits I have on the table. My coffee table has nothing on it really, which I think works because I like to use it put my feet on it. Sometimes I'll eat on it. Um, but all my other tables, I've got these beautiful little touches of brass and I've got some pictures. Um, I love having this little crystal catch-all bowl where I put my sunglasses and I put my keys. Um, obviously I showed you all of the outlet covers and plate covers. They're all changed around in this room. And I'm just in love with this space. I now look back at my reference pictures and I'm like, they, I translated them into my style. I think it was a great inspiration. I love this rug in here. You saw it in my apartment tour video. I wasn't as in love with this rug as I am now. I'm feeling like it's so perfect for the space. <laughs> kind of sleepy boy. I'm still standing up with me. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you haven't seen the first part in this series, it was the planning and the prepping and the painting of this space. I really loved it. I hope you guys go and check it out. I'll link it in the cards. Um, but I'm so grateful. I know not that many people are watching right now, but aside from that, I'm getting so much joy from putting my heart into these spaces um, and doing this for the few of you guys who are watching. So thanks so much and I will see you guys next week.